Honourable Chair, uh, Your Excellencies, Secretary General, Honourable Ministers, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, it's an honour for me to speak on behalf of the United Kingdom at this important meeting. And may I too thank the Government of the United Arab Emirates for their warm hospitality and all the work they've done to make this conference a success. I think it's well understood that information and communication technology is critically important to delivering the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The UK is proud to be one of the few countries to meet the UN target to spend 0.7% of our gross national income on overseas development aid, and we believe that sustainable development should be one of the highest priorities for the ITU. And that's one reason why we're so proud of Malcolm Johnson and the work he does as Deputy Secretary General, making sure that the ITU is able to deliver effectively for all its members. And that's why we're supporting Malcolm's re-election to the position of Deputy Secretary General. And we respectfully ask for your votes for his re-election to his second term in this important position. The ITU is a great advocate for the role that telecommunications and ICTs play in de de delivering the sustainable development agenda. We believe that the ITU can help ensure that the voices of stakeholders from developing countries and the particular challenges they face are heard and understood across the sector. Telecommunications and ICTs have expanded and developed at a tremendous pace over recent years. The regulatory and standardization landscape has become broader and more complex than ever before. It can be more difficult now for countries to navigate this complex landscape and to harness the full benefits of innovation. And it's not possible for one organization to tackle every ICT issue by itself. So we need the ITU to forge a modern strategic role in this 21st century landscape. And that means fully recognizing the roles of other organizations working in the field of ICTs, supporting member states to navigate this new landscape and building collaborative partnerships for the common good. The ICT, uh, ITU is at its best when it opens its doors to other stakeholders and bu builds a spirit of common purpose. The WSIS process is a great example of that. The ITU provides an important global platform for stakeholders, including governments, to come together and collaborate on a set of common opportunities and common challenges. We will only find solutions if we work together and learn from one another. So there's an extensive and important agenda for us all to work on, whether it's supporting an enabling environment to deliver affordable connectivity, ensuring the efficient use of spectrum that allows for innovation, promoting gender equality in telecommunications and IT ICTs, or responding to natural disasters such as the terrible earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia or the hurricanes in the Caribbean. I'm confident that with the goodwill and with the friendships that exist across the Union, we will make positive progress over the next few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, may I finish by wishing everyone a successful plenipotentiary conference. Thank you.